Hi everyone, today we are going to discuss about Quick Revision Series 2. Revision 1 Series, Unit Wise MCQs, DART, Important Days on Food and Health, Practice Test Link has been given in description. So please go through it. Practice Test 2 will be discussed on tomorrow. So please subscribe our channel. Let's move on to the topics. So first about Fortified Food. The tagline is Samburna portion, Swast Jeevan. Fortification of food regulation in 2018. Fortified commodities as per Food Safety and Standard Authority of India are rice, wheat flour, and maida are fortified with iron, folic acid, and vitamin B12. Then, milk and edible oil are fortified with vitamin A and vitamin D. Then, salt is fortified with iron and iodine. And next about irradiated food. Radaro mark. It's an international symbol. Tag treated with radiation. Its symbol green in color resembling plant in a circle. KGY is the unit of observed dose. And next about Jaivik Bharat. Section 22. Manufacture, distribution, sell or import organic food. Sikkim is the first fully organic state. Then India is the first in number of organic producers and exports 1.35 million metric tons certified organic foods. And here comes name of food packaging material. Food packaging material when sample is taken from manufacturer. Approximate quantity or surface area to be supplied is 8 into 1000 into 9 square centimeter surface area. When sample is taken from small consumer packages, the approximate quantity surface area to be supplied is complete packaging material used for one container. And then about Consumer Protection Act 1986. There are six consumer rights in India. They are right to safety, right to be informed, right to choose, right to be heard, right to seek redressal, right to consumer education. And here comes Safe and Nutritious Food Initiatives. First, SNF at Home to ensure safe and nutritious food and home. Pink Book and Dart Book. Large scale dissemination of Pink Book and Dart Book and other SNF material. SNF Portal of Food Safety and Standard Authority of India. Then for Health and Wellness Coordinators and Domestic Workers Training. Then SNF at School. Here, build awareness about SNF at school. Mobilize schools for implementation of SNF at school initiative. Then translate the training material in local language. Next, dissemination of yellow book into schools across the state. And then SNF at workplace. Here, dissemination of guidance document when it is ready. Then awareness about SNF portal. Outreach to workplaces in the government and other sectors. Then, SNF at Eat Out. Serve Safe. Serve Safe is an initiative targeting on ensuring safe and nutritious food to consumers. The major components of this initiative are Food Safety Supervisor. Have trained Food Safety Supervisor in each food premise. Then, FSS will ensure safe food handling and food safety training in food handlers. Then display food safety display boards at prominent places in food premises. Then at last get a hygiene plus certification for your food premise to promote safe and nutritious food to the consumers. And here comes about sampling. Tools used in sampling. First sampling liquids, vacuum pumps, Dipping vessels, pipette type samplers, sampling scoops, piston tube samplers. Then sampling solids in powder or granulated form, spear samplers, tube type samplers, sewn samplers, sampling trowels, spiral samplers. Then sampling frozen goods, hand drill samplers are used. Let's see one by one. First, borers. Here, it is used for sampling of powdered products, for example, milk powder, flour. The protruding borer edge and point should be sufficiently sharp 
to serve as a scrapper and to facilitate sampling. Then sampling trowel. Here the trowel are made from plastics or metal of variable volumes and different handle lengths. So the sampling of solids such as grain, free flowing powders and granules. And next comes spiral screw sampler. The spiral sampler is pressed into the sampled material by pushing and twisting which ensures the sample is loaded into the spiral. The sampler is then withdrawn and the sample is scrapped off by a spatula or scrapper into the white mouth container. Here it is used for paste like foodstuffs such as peanut butter, vegetable or animal fat, jam or honey. And next sampler for frozen foods, ice borer. The sampler operates on the principle of screw. That is, the sampler screws into the sample material and simultaneously extracts and conveys the sample into the sampling cylinder. Sampling from frozen and deep frozen materials and semi-solid substances. Example, deep frozen goods such as meat or fruit juice concentrates. And next, hand drill sampler. Here conical sampler or tubular sampler. Conical or tubular hand drill with sharp cutting edges and a solid handle. Drilling depth is 13 cm. So taking samples from soft and semi-solid materials. It is useful for cheese, butter, cottage cheese paneer, solidified oil etc. And then spear type sampler. This is a metal or plastic sampler made of stainless steel or, po or polypropylene. Usually equipped with telescopic rod used for taking direct samples of bulk goods from sacks, bag or plastic drum. If these goods are in powder or granulated form, then the sampler is introduced into the product by piercing the packaging. Then the hole in the packaging must be closed using tap or a sticker. Also suitable for vertical zone sampling of free flowing materials such as grain, sugar, flour, semolina and milk powder. And next comes zone sampler. The zone sampler is a metal spear type sampler. And it is useful for taking samples from bulk goods in transport containers, big bags, silos and tanks or good packed in bags, sacks, barrels or drums. It is suitable for both very fine powders, granules and coarse grains, semolina and nuts. And next spoons, scalpels spatula, scoops, knives made up of stainless steel are used for solid and semi-solid products. Other versatile tools may be used for sampling or example knives, stainless steel axes, scissors, swaps, forceps, tongs, cleaning brushes and flashlights. Then sampling by hand. This method is appropriate for all species of grains, legumes and oil seeds. Moreover, it is potentially the most suitable mother of seed that could be damaged using triers. Seed with wings, seed with low moisture content. Hands must be washed and the procedure is carried out using wearing gloves. And these are the sampling tools. Sampling trowel, paddle type agitator, dipper, spiral screw sampler, sampler for frozen foods, hand drill sampler, spear type sampler, zone type sampler. And next, the packaging material. Recommended for foodstuff are paper bags, polyethylene, polypropylene bags, bottles, glass jars. Then, the stoppers and caps are used for closing the sample holders must ensure a tight seal to prevent the leakage or evaporation of sample. Then the material of which containers and stoppers are made must not be susceptible to chemical attack by samples and not to interact with or contaminate them. Depending on the nature of samples taken, the cork blocks, crown caps, plastic or metal screw caps can be used. If cork plugs are used, they should be wrapped in polyethylene before closure. The use of rubber plugs is prohibited. 
and next about natural antioxidants so the antioxidant compounds first vitamin c ascorbic acid so the food containing high level of these antioxidants are fresh fruits and vegetables vitamin e tocopherols tocotrienols here it is present in vegetable oils then polyphenolic antioxidants resveratrol flavonoids are present in tea coffee soy fruit olive oil chocolate cinnamon oregano and red wine and next carotenoids lycopene carotenes lutein here it is present in fruits vegetables and eggs and next about synthetic antioxidants bha bht propyl gallate and tertiary butyl hydroquinone and the applications are vegetable oil meat products confections chewing gum and nuts cereal products flavoring materials fried foods bakery products and food packaging and then about probiotics so the beneficial bacteria in the intestine are called probiotics so the food containing live microorganism actually enhance the health by improving the balance of microflora is known as probiotic food so the examples for probiotics are lactobacillus and bifidobacterium and next about prebiotics prebiotics is a non digestible food ingredient which stimulates the growth or activity of one or limited number of bacteria and improves the host health and symbiotics here both pro and prebiotics function together and give enhanced effect and next about nissen it's a natural antimicrobial agent used worldwide since 1953 to control the bacterial spoilage in both heat processed and low ph food nissen the active ingredient is in nisalpin is effective against gram positive bacteria both vegetative cells and spores and next it is a small peptide produced by bacterium lactococcus lactis which is naturally present in milk nissen is a polypeptide and is most stable in acid condition it is soluble in aqueous environment at normal level of use it doesn't affect the color order or flavor of finished product then it will not control the gram negative bacteria yeast or mold bacillus porodermodurans it's a thermophilic heat resistant bacterium which is a great concern in uht in many part of world so this can be effectively controlled by nissen and next about benefits of fermentation so the raw material milk fermented food yogurt cheese then fruit vinegar then the raw material barley here beer is produced and for wine grapes is the raw material for salami meat is the raw material and gari polviho azado cassava is the raw material and for soy sauce the soybean is the raw material then for bread wheat is the raw material and next kimchi sauerkraut are produced from leafy vegetables uh, such as cabbage then natta di coco the raw material is coconut and next bifidus milk yakult acidophilus yogurt are prepared from milk then coffee from coffee beans and wine from grapes and next major types of cheese and microorganisms used in their production so the examples for soft and ripened cheese are cottage cream and mozzarella then the example for soft ripened cheese is brie from france and camembert from france then semi soft examples blue roquefort brick munster and lime burger then cheddar colby swiss or examples of hard ripened then parmesan is example for very hard ripened cheese so the early stages of production lactococcus lactis is responsible and later stages uh, for soft and ripened leuconostoc cremoris then soft ripened pennsylvania camembert brie bacterian linens are the later stages of production uh, then for semi soft cheese Pennsylvania Roqueforti, Brevibacterial Linens, Brevibacterial Linens 
Next, hot ripened lactobacillus casei, lactobacillus plantarum, propionibacterium shermani, and propionibacterium crotonarchi. Then, very hot ripened, the later stages of production, bacteria lactobacillus bulgaricus. And next, about fermented food and related products. So, the dairy products, cheese, the raw ingredients is milk curd and kefir milk and kumis from mare's milk yogurt from milk milk solids then country cured hams from pork hams dry sausages from pork beef fish sauces from small fish then non beverage plant products cocoa beans chocolate from cocoa fruits pots then coffee beans from coffee cherries then kimchi from cabbage and other vegetables miso from soya beans olives from green olives poi from taro roots socrat from cabbage soy sauce from soya beans then about breads rolls cakes breads and so on from wheat flours then san francisco sort of bread is from wheat flour and next other fermented foods coffee the raw ingredients coffee beans the fermenting microorganism is Irvinia dissolvent Saccharomyces species, then Gary from Cassava, Cornibacterium manihot, and Geotrichum species are involved. Then Kengi, here the raw ingredients is corn and Aspergillus species, Pencilium species are involved. Kimchi, cabbage, and other vegetables. So the fermenting organism involved are lactic acid bacteria, then miso, the raw ingredients soybeans and fermenting organism is aspergillus oryzae psychosaccharomyces roxy then ogi from corn the fermenting microorganism lactobacillus plantarum then olives from green olives the fermenting microorganism is leconostoc mesenteroides then onjom from peanut press cake the microorganism involved are neurospora cytophila then piogium from cassava the organism involved are mold and pickles from cucumber the organism pediococcus cerevisiae is involved then poi from taro roots lactic acid bacteria is involved socrat as cab and from cabbage here leconostoc mesenteroids and lactobacillus plantarum are involved then soy sauce from soya beans here the fermenting organism are aspergillus oryzae or Aspergillus soya, Lactobacillus delbrecki, then Sufu from soybeans, the fermenting organism mucus species, Tyosi from soybeans, Aspergillus oryzae is involved, Temp from soybean, Rhizopus oligosporus and Rhizopus oryzae are involved, then Silages, here the Silages means fermented grass, corn and other fresh animal feeds. And next here comes milk composition. So the water 86%, protein 4%, lactose that is milk sugar 5%, butter fat cream 3.5% and minerals 1 to 2%. And next total solids. All components except for water is called total solids. Then about solids not fat. All components except for water and fat. And here the market use and production method of some amino acid. So the important amino acid acids produced commercially are glutamic acid, aspartic acid, phenylalanine and lysine. So arginine is used in pharmaceutical. Aspartic acid as sweetener. Cysteine is food additive. Glutamic acid as flavor enhancer. Glycine food additive. Leucine pharmaceutical. Lysine feed additive, methionine feed additive, phenylalanine is sweetener, threonine is feed additive, tryptophan and valine are used as in pharmaceutical. And next about vitamins. Riboflavin is produced by Ashbia gossipi. Then l sorbose for vitamin C is produced by Gluconobacter oxidant subspecies suboxidants. Then 5 keto gluconic acid. For vitamin C production is produced by the organism gluconobacter oxidant subspecies suboxidants 
annexed vitamin b12 is produced by propionic bacterium shermani here the medium used is glucose constip ammonia cobalt and the ph maintained here is 7 so, and the yield is 23 mg per liter and next major commercial organic acids produced by microorganisms during fermentation so by bacterial fermentation lactic acid acetic acid and butyric acid are produced and fungal fermentation citric acid acetic acid gluconic acid itagonic acid kojic acid and gibberellic acid are produced so let's see the examples citric acid is produced by aspergillus niger acetic acid is produced by acetobacter Gluconic acid is produced by Aspergillus niger. Itagonic acid is produced by Aspergillus cerus. Lactic acid is produced by Rhizopus oryce. And next, vinegar production. So the vinegar comes from French word vinegar, sour wine. So the uses of vinegar are flavoring ingredient in cooking and in salad dressing. Then pickling. Pickles can be stored and refrigerated for many years by using this vinegar. Then Manufacture of assorted acetate esters. Then it is produced by Astobacter species, Astobacter aceti, Astobacter pasteurinus, Astobacter peroxidans. So the vinegar is about 4 to 8 percentage acetic acid, inhibits the growth of bacteria. Vinegar is produced by acetic acid bacteria, oxidizing and alcohol containing fruit juice. Then the fermentation of carbohydrate was done by yeast. So the substra substrate used here is fruit juice, sugar containing syrups. Then the oxygen requirement, here it is an aerobic condition is maintained. Here comes microbial enzymes and their application. Amylase, starch digesting. It is used in application of bread, starch coatings, syrup and glucose manufacture, cold swelling, laundry starch, digesting aid. And protease protein digesting so the application here comes bread spot removal meat tenderizing and wound cleansing then invertase sucrose digesting that is soft center candies then glucose oxidase here glucose removal oxygen removal then glucose isomerase is used for high fructose corn syrup then pectinase for clarification of wine and fruit juice then renin coagulation of milk for cheese manufacturing then cellulase used for fabric softening brightening and detergent then lipase breakdown fat then lactase breakdown lactose to glucose and galactose then dna polymerase for dna replication in polymerase chain reaction that is pcr technique it is used for Biological research and forensics. Here the organism involved is archaea. And next about total soluble solids. For tomato paste and tomato ketchup 25%. Then fruit syrup, jam, jelly 65% TSS. And for fruit cordial 30%. Fruit nectar 15%. Fruit juice 10%. And 9% for tomato puree and grapefruit juice. And next, let's see the acronyms. So, ACMARK, Agricultural Produce, Grading and Marking. AO, Adjudicating Officer. APEDA, Agricultural and Processed Food Products Export Development Authority. BIS, Bureau of Indian Standards. CAC, Central Advisory Committee. CEO, Chief Executive Officer, CFL, Central Food Laboratory, CFS, Commissioner Food Safety, and next, CLA, Central Licensing Authority, DART, Detect Adulteration with Rapid Test, DO, Designated Officer, EOI, Expression of Interest, FA, Food Analyst, FBO, Food Business Operator, FDA Food and Drug Administration, FFRC Food Fortification Resource Center, FICS Food Import Clearance System, and next FLRS Food Licensing Registration System, Foscoris Food Safety Complaints 
through regular inspection and sampling for stack, food safety training and certification. Then for scores, food safety complaint system, FSS Act, Food Safety and Standard Act 2006, then Food Safety and Standard Authority of India, then FSO, Food Safety Officer, then FSKAN, Food Safety Knowledge and Assimilation Network, then FSMS, Food Safety Management System, FSM, Food Safety Mitra, and next FSS, Food Safety Supervisor, and next HACCP, Hazard Analysis and Critical Control Point, HFSS, High Fat, Salt and Sugar, then GAP, Good Agricultural Practices, GFSP, Global Food Safety Partnership, Good GHP, Good Hygienic Practices, GM, Genetically Modified, GMP, Good Manufacturing Practices, Infonet, Indian Food Laboratory Network, then LSG, Local Self Government, MDM, Midday Meal, NABL, National Accreditation Board for Testing and Calibration Laboratories, Net Profan, Network of Professionals of Food and Nutrition, NFL, National Food Laboratory, NLRP, National Level Resource Person, PA, Product Approval, PFA, Prevention of Food Adulteration Act 1954, QA, Quality Assurance, QC, Quality Control, then RBIS. Risk Based Inspection System RFP Request for Proposal ECO Repurpose Used Cooking Oil SAC State Advisory Committee SC Scientific Committee SOP Standard Operating Procedures SHG Self Help Group TOT Training of Trainers TP Training Partners WHO World Health Organization if you have any doubt, please ask under comment section. Previous video's link has been given in description, so please go through it. Practice test 2 will be discussed on upcoming class, so please subscribe our channel. Thank you.